Hello friends, I've just been having a pretty chill day at home. I'm still resting after my hospital admission and, you know, recovering from all of that. And I wasn't planning on filming today. That was until a giant box of books arrived. So I am a bookseller, which means that I get a pretty good staff discount on most books that I want. But I haven't been at work in over a month and so... I've missed book shopping. <laughs> and there were some books that I really wanted to get, but because I knew that I could get them on a good staff discount if I just waited until I got back to work, I decided to have a little look online for secondhand options instead. And I found an awful lot of secondhand books on eBay that I was very interested in. I put a handful of cheeky offers on a few and I won most of them and actually the majority came from one seller. So I thought we could do a little secondhand online book unboxing haul video. And they all look like they were in pretty good condition online. These weren't like super, super, super discounted books. It's not like they were a dollar each. So I'm hoping they're in, you know, fairly good condition. I'm not overly picky, but I just want to feel like I got good bang for my buck, you know? Everything is packaged nice and tight, so... I don't imagine anything's been damaged in transit at the very least. So, first lot, I'm very excited. Oh, these look like they are in really good condition. I'm really happy about that. I got uh, N.K. Jemisin's fifth season trilogy, just the soft covers. Um, I've been really excited about these. I have been trying to get a little bit more into fantasy with varying degrees of success. Are you okay, Harry? Do you want to go out? We're cat sitting my my parents' cat and. He wanted to come in and now he wants to go out. Are the books not entertaining you? I've heard incredible things about N.K. Jemisin as an author and I did have The City We Became on my shelf. I've had it for quite a while and I tried to read that this month and oh, I really didn't like it. I had to DNF it, I had to. But I have heard mixed reviews about that book and how people have had very different experiences with it. And I think that that's just not a book for me. I'm not ready yet to give up on N.K. Jemisin as an author though, because I think the ideas in that book are great. I just didn't like the storytelling. And on top of that, I really did enjoy the writing. And from what I can tell, this is kind of like considered her magnum opus, or at least at this point in her career, this is her most acclaimed and beloved series, I would say. Ah, and it looks like it's called the Broken Earth Trilogy. I think I've just been calling it the fifth season series. So there we go, the Broken Earth Trilogy. The first book of which is the fifth season, Every Age Must Come to an End. And I think this is basically set in a world where like apocalyptic events happen fairly regularly. And so the world and the society is sort of set up to deal with those events. Then we've got book number two, which is the Obelisk Gate. And then we've got book number three, which is the Stone Sky. So I've got the whole trilogy here ready to go. Honestly, the first thing I'm noticing is that these are not as big as I thought they were. They're all around 500-ish pages, it looks like. So much more manageable than I was expecting, to be perfectly honest. Anyway, I've just heard such good things about N.K. Jemisin as an author, and in particular, this series. Um, seems to be in many people that I watch and follow, they're like top 10, top five, sometimes their absolute number one favorite fantasy series of all time. And in my video in which I spoke about how much I detested Brandon Sanderson's uh, The Well of Ascension, which is the second book in his Mistborn series, I had a lot of incredible recommendations from you in the comments and quite a number of people did mention N.K. Jemisin. So I'm really, really hopeful that this could be a fantasy series that really works for me. And honestly, the fact that it's a series, that it's a fantasy series, but the books aren't too big is very, very exciting to me. And book one is definitely high up on my priority of books to get to quite soon. Okay, let's open up some more. How you doing? You okay? Can I do anything for you? Oh, these are pretty. Now this next series I honestly haven't heard that much about, but it looks incredible. Um, it When I did check out the blurb, it sounded incredible. And as a children's bookseller, I'm always looking for some really interesting um, and diverse, especially middle grade and YA to recommend to people. And I don't know what this series is called, um, but the first book is Arusha and the End of Time. And isn't this such a pretty cover? And again, these all look like they're in really good condition. So these are from like the Rick Riordan Presents uh, and they are by Roshani Chokshi. Percy Jackson meets Sailor Moon in this inaugural title in the Rick Riordan Presents program, a wild and wildly funny epic journey based on Hindu mythology. An imaginative novel that puts girl power and diverse protagonists front and center. We need more of that in middle grade. Arusha has a tendency to stretch the truth in order to fit in at her private middle school. 
While her classmates are jetting off to exotic vacations, she'll be spending her autumn break in the Museum of Ancient Indian Art and Culture that her mum curates. One day, three schoolmates show up at Aru's doorstep to catch her in a lie. They don't believe her claim that the museum's lamp of Bharata is cursed, and they dare Aru to prove it. But lighting the lamp has dire consequences. She unwittingly frees the sleeper, an ancient demon who is intent on awakening the god of destruction. Her classmates and mother are frozen in time and it's up to Aru to save them. The only way to stop the demon is to find the reincarnations of the legendary Pendava brothers and journey through the kingdom of death. But how is one girl in Spider-Man pajamas supposed to do all that? That just sounds so fun. I'm really, really looking forward to this and I'm really optimistic and hopeful that this becomes an, yet another middle grade fiction that I can solidly and enthusiastically recommend. Book number two is Arusha and the Song of Death. And book number three is Arusha and the Tree of Wishes. I'm not sure if this is the final book in the series, if it is a trilogy or if it continues, but I think either way, three books uh, for the beginning of a series or an entire trilogy, I'm really happy with these and these hardcovers are gorgeous. Okay, and then the final two books are not in a series, but they are by the same author. And again, two beautiful and in really good condition hardcovers. I picked up two more books from Mary H.K. Choi. I've read Yoke, which I got as a proof through work. And her covers are just always so, so captivating. I kind of loved and hated Yoke. Like it was toxic, it was horrible, and yet I still liked reading it and I really liked the ending. And I whizzed through that book. So I've always kind of in the back of my mind wanted to read more by the author, but I just never got around to picking more up. And I mean, who can say no to some really well-priced secondhand hardcovers? So the first one I've got is Emergency Contact. For Penny Lee, high school was a total non-event. Her friends were okay, her grades were fine, and while she'd somehow landed a boyfriend, they never managed to know much about each other. Now Penny is heading to college in Austin, Texas to learn how to become a writer. It's 79 miles and a zillion light years away from everything she can't wait to leave behind. Sam's stuck, literally, figuratively, emotionally, financially. He works at a cafe and sleeps there too, on a mattress on the floor of an empty storage room upstairs. He knows that this is the god awful chapter of his life that will serve as inspiration when he's a famous movie director. But right this second, the 17 bucks in his checking account and his dying laptop are really testing him. When Sam and Penny cross paths, it's less a meet cute and more a collision of unbearable awkwardness. Still, they swap numbers and they stay in touch via text and soon become digitally inseparable, sharing their deepest anxieties and secret dreams without the humiliating weirdness of having to, you know, see each other. So some awkward teen angst. I'm here for that. And then this cover, which is just like bonkers. It's kind of two covers in one and it's like transparent. It's really gorgeous. Looks like a comic book. And this one is permanent record. On paper, college dropout Pablo Naruto Rind doesn't have a whole lot going for him. His graveyard shift at a 24 hour deli in Brooklyn is a struggle. Plus he's up to his eyeballs in credit card debt. Never mind the state of his student loans. Pop juggernaut Leanna Smart has enough social media followers to populate whole continents. She graduated from child stardom to become an international icon, and her adult life is a queasy blur of private planes, hotel rooms, and strangers screaming for her to just notice them. When Leanna and Pablo meet at 5am at the bodega in the dead of winter, it's absurd to think they'd be a thing. But as they discover who they are, who they want to be, and how to defy the expectations of everyone else, Lee and Pub turn to each other. Which of course is when things get properly complicated. They kind of have similar vibes, these two books it sounds like, or similar kinds of set setups with just different characters and different situations. So I'm not sure exactly when I'm planning on getting around to these two, but if they're anything like Yoke, they will be very quick reads. So that's always nice. So that's it, that's my secondhand eBay book haul. This has been quite a good experience. I feel like I need to buy more secondhand books if I'm buying online. Now to find somewhere for these all to fit on my shelves. That's gonna be a challenge. I'd love to hear in the comments below if you buy books secondhand when you're shopping online and if you've had good experiences like I feel like I have today. And also let me know if you've read any of these, what you think. Um, I'm definitely prioritizing The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. I've been like, waiting and like following the tracking information on that one so I'm so glad it's here. So thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. I know this was a short sort of chill video quite impromptu but it was fun. It's always fun to chat books. Uh, a big thank you also to my wonderful patrons over on Patreon for all of their support of me and my channel and an especially big thank you to my high tier patrons Livia, Lynette Brown, Laurie and Ian Yitzhak. But that's all from me for now so until the next time happy reading and so much love. Bye!